Do you want to scalp crypto markets? Do you want to trade short-term trades from day-to-day -day basis and basically become a trader? You know, that's one of the biggest dreams some people have. I've been trading for the past six and a half, nearly seven years now, okay? I've been trading forex, stocks, commodities, indices, and cryptocurrencies. And in this video, I will show you, share you, and demonstrate you top two. Ah! Yes, top two, um, uh, one of the best top two crypto scalping trading strategies, okay? Really easy to use, little, it could take you a little bit of time to master it, so make sure you watch this video until the end. Right, let's dig in. So, I'm gonna explain you, teach you this strategy, and then we will do a recap, in, you know, and we'll go over the steps and points that you need to remember in order to use this strategy. Right, so pen, pen and paper, so pens and papers out. Papers and pens, well not golden Swarovski pens, but whatever, you know, pens and papers out. Uh, and let's begin. So, strategy number one, okay? Strategy number one consists a uh, five minute chart, okay? This is an EMA scalping strategy. And what do you need is everything that I'm gonna explain you in this strategies video is gonna be free. So all of these tools are completely free. You don't need to pay a dime. And that's what I'm always doing in my videos. I'm explaining you how to use free resources. So a uh, five minute chart and we need to place uh, three EMAs and then we need to wait for the conditions. So let's do that, okay? So this is a, this is a Bitcoin uh, USD chart, okay? Five minute chart, step number one. Step number two, place three exponential moving average lines on your chart. It doesn't matter if you use your Binance, your Qcoin chart or or pool coin chart or whatever, uh, okay. So this is a tradingview.com free charting solution and most platforms, uh, why, you know, use this plat platform as well on their, pla on, on their own platforms. So five minute chart, three EMAs. Click on e indicators, search for EMA, moving average exponential. Click three times on that and we will, you will have this, you will see these three uh, EMAs on your chart. So then we need to set up, you know, the correct settings. Uh, one of the EMAs we need to set at length to 6, color doesn't matter, depends on your preference. Second one we need to set at length of 9, color doesn't matter as long as you know which one is 9. Okay? And the third one, which is the most important EMA for this strategy to work, uh, the trigger EMA uh, and confirmation EMA is the EMA3. Click on it, you know, uh, this is yellow because uh, this is my most important EMA, so I want to see it always straight away. Input should be 3 because length is 3. We change nothing else. Then what we do, when you place it on, on your chart, okay, what, what's gonna happen is you will not see those EMAs often, in often cases, okay? Uh, because candlesticks will cover your EMAs and you will be like, what the hell and what should we do? So make sure that you click on, do right click on the EMA and you, you know, on these EMAs and you do, you click here on a visual order and bring it to front. Visual order for second EMA and bring it to front and the same applies for the third one, bring it to front. And now you will be able to see the EMAs in front of the candlesticks instead of the back of the candlesticks. And this was a very, very big point because I've seen some other channels teaching similar strategies, but you know, uh, but they're explaining it while, while not even being able to look at the EMAs. Anyway, long story short, now we are ready to go, right? Right. So for this strategy to work, we are looking for the crossover. So the conditions are as follows. We are looking for the EMA3, which in this case is the yellow EMA, to cross EMA9 and to cross EMA6, okay? Uh, like we can see in here, okay? So here the price went down and then it went, the control, you know, went up, however, in this third candle right here, we can see this crossover happening, okay? So the EMA was on the bottom and then it just, just shooted and crossed, see this yellow EMA crossed the other two EMAs. Boom! Is our trigger, okay? That the price reversal is happening and that the price, instead of going down here, is gonna go up from this crossover for short to medium, the term okay remember this is a five minute chart so this is scalping strategy 
So whenever we see that uh, EMA3 is crossing other two EMAs, we are placing the buy trade. Let's say that we place buy, you know, uh, late. Let's just say here, it would still be really, really great. So uh, you keep two to one risk reward ratio. So if you enter here, uh, let's just say, then uh, let's say your target is 1.5%. So look at the target here, you know, you can use these tools on your, you know, on your exchanges and your platforms. These are free tools. So your target should be 1.5. Let's say 1.5 is here, 1.5%. Uh, okay. And your, your stop loss should be half, half that. So 0 0.75. Let me just, uh, so 0 0.75 is here. So ideally, okay. But this is if you're a completely new trader, you can use these mathematical equations. Uh, so target play, have your target at 1.5 and your stop loss 0.75, okay? But if you're a little bit more experienced the trader, um, you know, you can simply be more logical. And when more logical, simply zoom out and see. Uh, you can see that from this point forward, okay, what happened here, the price touched this and went back up. So it means that if the price comes up here again, it could go back up, okay? from this point forward. But if it breaks this point, then it's gonna go down no matter what, because this is what? Yes, this is our support key level on a momentum chart. So if I was experienced trader, I would simply place my stop loss below that support. Why? Because whenever it breaks this line, whenever, it, whenever price breaks this and goes further down, even by a little bit, it doesn't matter, it basically triggers that the price is going to go further down. So that's my stop loss and my take profit will be two, uh, twice, uh, twice my stop loss. So my stop loss is 1.16, so my take profit will be 2.32. 1.16 multiplied by 2 is 2.32. Is it? I'm not sure. I hope, I hope so. Uh, 2.32 is exactly in here, okay. Here we go. So that's our take profit and that's our stop loss. And now let's take a look at some um, sale example, shall we? So this was a buy example. Uh, okay. So we wait for the uh, you know EMA three to be below EMA six and EMA nine. Then we wait for this breakout. Okay. I think this is something I meant I didn't mention. So if when you open a chart, make sure that uh, the the trend is one way. Wait, 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 wait for the trend to change. And when a trend changes, it's going to be represented by this EMA3. Uh, and that's when, you know, when the crossover happens, that's where we enter the trade. Let's take a look at some sale examples. So for the sale example, we can see right here, same scenario, uh, uptrend, nice, okay. Sorry about the weird arrow. But then here, what happened? What happened here? What happened here? Blackie, what happened here? It's my cat. What happened here was that EMA 3 crossed over EMA 9 and 6, just right here. So this was our trigger for what? Yes, yes, baby, this was our trigger for our sale trade. So let me just put short uh, in, uh, not here, because it will be crossover. We will not see the crossover exactly as it happens. Okay, we will enter it um, a little bit, you know, five minutes late. So if we enter it right here, uh, and then we can see that our stop loss should be where? Well, our stop loss should be a little bit above previous highs. Previous high was here, so I would place my stop loss in here. Uh, again, 1.25 around, okay. 1.25, um, I would put it actually 1.40. So now, based on this, uh, I can put my take profit at uh, 3, 3%, which would be, which would be, here, okay, but as you can see, <laughs> we would be deep, deep in the profits after this entry. The price just went down and just boom. Okay, strategy number two. Two strategy number two ape army strategy. What you need for this ape army strategy is a Haken Ashi charts, okay, MACD, EMA 200, and parabolic SAR. All three tools right here, okay. What are they really, really easy? So, uh, yeah, so let's play. So it's going to be Ethereum, yeah, because I have it already set up here. So Ethereum in this case, again, five minute chart, five minute chart, five minute chart and five minute chart only for this scalping strategy number two. So first of all, click on this uh, uh, 
candlestick option thing. Click on it and there are many many different candlestick option things available for us to choose. With the one we want for this strategy is Heiken Ashi. Heiken Ashi, okay? When you click on Heiken Ashi, it's gonna look like this. So Heiken Ashi is similar to Japanese candlesticks. However, Heiken Ashi it basically deletes all the noise, okay? Uh, you know, uh, you know, it deletes all that ugly, you know, ugly long-looking wicks, okay? And uh, so basically, smooths down the candle, Japanese candlesticks, and these candlesticks are called the Heikenashi. Then thing number two, what we need is we need to go to indicators and we need to search for SAR SAR. Parabolic SAR is a really powerful trading strategy, but you know you can use you can't use it as a standalone trading strategy that's why many newbie traders lose money because they think they can put one chart one one indicator and chart and simply follow that no it's not gonna happen okay you're gonna lose in the long run however uh, stop and reverse parabolic stop and reverse indicator SAR and is perfect for uh, for this strategy so we use parabolic SAR Heiken Ashi charts right right Third thing that we third thing that we need to use is the EMA 200. So click on indicators, search for EMA moving average exponential, and it's going to be on a chart. And this is this line right here. But we need to set it to 200. Okay, 200 days. Click on OK. And then the fourth indicator that we need for this, okay, is a MACD. Uh, MACD indicator is here on the bottom. MACD, uh, MACD histogram and these two weird looking funny lines, a signals line and a K line, and that will be your trigger. But if you, uh, if you can't put uh, these indicators on your chart, if you're, you know, if you can only put, if you can only use uh, Japanese candlesticks, it's also fine. As long as you practice this strategy with a demo money in, you know, before you put in real money. That's my always, adv my, my biggest advice always. Make sure that you practice your strategy for a couple of weeks before placing your real money. Uh, anyway, so I've been testing this for years on a Forex, this strategy, so uh, you know me. Uh, I've been using the strategy for Forex for years, okay, but for cryptos it's just um, unbelievable because volatility is bigger. So, uh, conditions are as such. When we are looking for the candlesticks to break below the 200 EMA or break above the 200 EMA. If the candlesticks are up by breaking above 200 EMA, we will only look for buy opportunities, buy trades and going long. If uh, the candlesticks are breaking the, the 200 EMA on the downside, we will only place sell trades and we will only look for sell opportunities and we will only go short. That's rule number one. Rule number two, okay. After this breakout happens, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the parabolic SAR. Parabolic SAR is uh, okay. It's indicator. Oh yeah, parabolic indicator. This is indicator right here. You can edit it also. Okay, click here on this and uh, and choose a styling. Okay, click on a color. You can put it yellow or white. I put it white and I put it a little bit thicker. Okay, so you choose this strength. So you can put it really strong or weaker when it comes to representation of this. Um, this okay and parabolic SAR and click on OK. So parabolic SAR. Uh, so uh, we are looking for. So for example, now the candlesticks broke below 200 EMA. Great. We look for sell opportunities. Uh, and for sell opportunities, we are uh, looking for the parabolic SAR to show us that the, these dots on the parabolic are above the candlesticks. Okay. So here we would wait, we would wait, here the parabolic SAR reversed, so we need, we will only place our trade at the parabolic SAR fresh new momentum trade trend indication. What the hell Andrew are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about we will only wait for this fresh path, see from the fresh, we will only enter when the parabolic SAR starts the fresh path. We will not enter the sale just because it broke here below. Because this parabolic SAR is not a fresh path after this breakout. I hope you know what I mean what I mean here. So let's look for those opportunities, Andrew. Let's show us how to make that money. Okay, now we have that out of the way, we know what to do. So now let's let, take a look at those opportunities. Because there is one last uh, thing that we need to uh, confirm, which will be the MACD, okay. 
So here the candlesticks broke out, then it reversed, and then we see the new fresh path on SAR right here. So rule number one, candlesticks are below EMA, 200 EMA, yes, check. Rule number two, uh, parabolic SAR is starting the fresh path and the dots are above the candlesticks, yes, yes. And the third confirmation, we, you know, we need to make sure that when we enter the trade, we need to make sure that the MACD, this indicator right here, is having the red line above blue line pointing downwards. As we can see it right here. It didn't happen here yet, so we would not place the trade here or here. But however, here, already on the, se on the second candle, we can see that the MACD showed us a sharp crossover so red line is above uh, is above blue line and pointing downwards that's our third confirmation that it's gonna be uh, that's gonna be our sell trade so we are going to enter sell right here boom uh, and uh, again the risk reward ratio depends on your risk appetite and your uh, trading expertise but i would simply look back and i would say that okay right so here is our support, no matter what. Okay, so this is the point where I should take my money. But if, you know, uh, so, so if you're an experienced trader, I would take my money here. So that's 2.25, uh, risk reward ratio 2 to 1, 2.25, 225 divided by 2 is what? It's 1.12.5. But again, I would lose my, use my logic. I would put my stop loss for sell trade a little bit above previous high, which was here. Right, right. Uh, but if you, but if you are a newbie trader, uh, okay, don't worry about support resistance. Okay, use mathematical logic. So, uh, so use your uh, uh, one to five. Okay, one to five, one to four nine, one to five for your take profit, and divide that by two to place your stop loss. So one to five divided by two is what? It's zero point seventy five. Uh, so your stop loss would be uh, 75 is actually here, okay? 76, 75, which actually is quite quite accurate as we can see. It's actually exactly a little bit above our 200 EMA, and 200 EMA is one of the most important EMAs because 200 EMA basically represents the direction of the trend. So quick recap, okay? Strat for two strategies. Strategy number one: we use five minute chart, we use three EMAs which will be three, six, and nine. And the conditions are, we wait for the EMA cross, uh, we wait for the EMA, EMA three to cross over through the EMA six and nine. This indicates that the trend is, is changing direction. You can buy and sell based on the strategy, you know, depending on which, uh, in which way the EMA three is breaking out, okay? Then a strategy number two. Okay, we use Heiken Ashi charts, we use MACD, and we use 200 EMA and the parabolic SAR. And conditions for the buy trades will be the opposite what we just talked about. So wait for the price to be above the 200 EMA. Then wait for SAR showing you buy signal, which means basically the dots are will be below the candlesticks. And make sure that the MACD, K and signals lines are crossed, okay, in the direction of the trend of the trade, sorry. So the, for the buy signals, the MACD blue line will be above will be above red line and for sale signals, the MACD red line will be above blue line. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In case if you're completely new to the trading and you, you know, you will have difficulties to use any of these indicators, then you can use my UPSI scalping indicator, which is also for the trading view charts. And this indicator will tell you exactly where to buy and exactly where to sell, okay? So I will leave the link below the video uh, for this, you know, Black Friday link if you're interested, okay? But however, these two strategies that are just, you know, showing you are really powerful and all of these are free tools, by the way, okay? If you need help in trading, you're always welcome to email me. But most importantly, smash those like buttons and also subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Bye-bye.